And how's it going, YouTube? Once again, we got another story about a child. This time, the child dies. You see the title, a New Jersey woman is charged with murder after allegedly lighting newborn on fire. Now, I'm going to show you. This is the mugshot. This is the 22-year-old woman. Honestly, her name is a little difficult to say. So we're just going to call her Miss Dornvier, and that, 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 that's how I'm going to call her, because that, that her first name is like Hyper, I, I can't even remember, Hyper Kimberly, something like that. But a New Jersey woman has been charged with murder for alleged setting of her newborn daughter on fire, killing the baby late Friday. Police arrested Miss Dornvier, age 22, after Pendleton residents spotted her allegedly setting something on fire and alerted authorities. Davis Joseph told WCAUT Philadelphia, Dornvier calmly told him she was burning dog feces after her pet had an accident. However, he and his wife realized a baby with her umbilical cord still attached was burning after being drenched in a flammable liquid. Residents caught and held Dornvener as she tried to flee, denying the baby was hers. Oh uh, yeah, you, you definitely didn't get far. My wife heard the baby scream, quote, Joseph told WCAU, then I slammed the door shut. She tried to run for it, then I put her to the ground. That's when she saw it was a baby. The baby was still alive and breathing when paramedics arrived at 11.15 p.m., but died two hours after being airlifted to St. Christopher's Hospital in Philadelphia, police said. Dornvener was treated for injuries at Deborah Hospital in Brown Mills, New Jersey, and arrested on release. She was held on a $500,000 bond, KAW Philadelphia reports. The Burlington County Medical Examiner was to perform an autopsy detailing surroundings of her birth remain unclear. The Burlington County Prosecutor said in a statement, If a parent is unable to care for a child, New Jersey law allows legal custody to be relinquished within 30 days of birth, provided the baby has not been a victim of abuse. Babies can be left at a hospital room or police station. That is true. That is very true. Okay, so... I just read you the news story, and there's just so many things wrong with this story. First of all, you burn your own flesh and blood, An another human being that was only on this planet for a very short time. Now, I don't know what was going through her head. I, I really think she was scared, but like the uh, brilliant... Burlington County prosecutor said if you don't feel like you can take care of a child Just leave it out of the hospital or take it to the police station. You're just fine. Just don't deal with it, but to burn Flesh and blood and then try to lie about it and say oh, oh, it's just some some dog feces and then the couple realized, wait a minute, that 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 don't sound right. But we're just going to park in the middle in the middle of the street and light something on fire. That that's just sad. I mean, it it really just lets you know how just insane this world is. Sometimes it's just wow. You couldn't just and then with the umbilical cord still attached to it. So that means she clearly had this baby. She, she basically had to have it within hours. If the umbilical cord was still attached to it. So now this woman, she, uh, she's going to do life in prison. There is just no way around that. You, you put a flammable fluid on it and set it on fire. They ain't even think to just say, no, I can't handle this. Let me I give it to a family member or just give it to somebody else. 
But now, this is repercussions. She's got to live with for the rest of her life. The rest of her life. It's a sad situation. Hug your kids. We all brothers and sisters. Hug them. Tell them I love you. Because you never, you never know when you're going to die. And I've said this before and I've said it again. You just cannot pick your parents. You really can't. You might get it. You might have a good family. Or you might have a bad family. Sad. Our guys calling down below and let me know about this disturbing story. Coming out of New Jersey. Live life. YOLO I guess.